Hi, welcome to part two of making joints with PVC pipe. Uh, in part one, we made a knee joint. Uh, I'm gonna use this for a shoulder, but this is not a shoulder joint because shoulder does all kinds of things. Um, this is more of a pivot joint because it will just go side to side. Um, the trick with doing this is I just have a regular 90 degree PVC angle on there, but you don't want, you don't want it to pop out, right? You want it to stay on there. So there's a little channel cut into the elbow joint and a screw put in. And that's, that's what holds it together. This took even less time to do than the knee joint. So I'm going to take you through it. I'm going to tell you a couple of things that I learned. The first thing that I learned is, uh, of course, the pipe fits in pretty tight to the, to the 90 degree here. And so uh, if you just tried to like put it in there and turn it, it's really tight. So before I put this in, I sanded it down a little bit so that it would roll easier, easier in there. This would also work for a neck joint, I guess, as it would pivot this way too. You could just put it into a T and cut the channel here and then have a neck movement. Okay, first step is I'm gonna sand this down a little bit so that it, it rotates a little bit easier in here. Okay, that's rotating a lot easier and it won't bind. So now I'm gonna get ready to cut it. You can see right here, there's a seam. That's about where the pipe ends. So my cut is gonna be about halfway in the middle right here. So I'm gonna cut a channel right in here. I'm gonna go about halfway through the pipe. Uh, I need to cut it wide enough for this. This is an eight by three and quarter uh, inch screw. So I'll have to cut several times to clear out the space for it. Still a little tight. Now the next step is to, this is the, this is the side I sanded. I'm gonna put this all the way in and I'm gonna mark it where center is. I'm checking the drill bit size because I want the threads of the screw to catch, but I don't want to split the PVC, which I'm pretty sure is going to happen if you drill in, especially close to an edge. So this is just slightly smaller than the shaft of the screw, so the threads can get a good grip. Now I'm going to put the screw in. So yeah, it really took about five minutes to make these, uh, these pivot joints. And now I've got two of them for the shoulders and big shout out to Rachel DeVos and her channel, which I stole this entirely from. Thank you.